Good afternoon, everyone. Out doing a little bit of exploration, and we have come across a couple small showings here. You got some oxidization, and then you have some grab samples here, which have uh, minor amounts of sulfides in the form of calcopyrite and pyrite. So you can see you have uh, your uh, sulfide staining, and then you have large amounts of oxide staining. So we're gonna break a few of these samples open and uh, see what we can find. See if we can get a sample good enough to send into a lab. So we got our first sample here. You can see you have pyrite mineralization and little bits of calcopyrite all throughout. Got more there too. So a decent sample, this will be our first sample we're going to send in. And that is from this exposure here, hammered off right there. So we'll poke around a little bit and see if we can find any more. Uh, but I think this one is good enough for now to see if there's anything decent in this. And then we'll move on to the next showing. So we have our second showing here. You can see lots more oxides all throughout. So these are kind of two isolated exposures. Uh, if you head over a bit, you got no oxidization. Same host rocks, so these are probably small little deposits. And then you got a little bit more over here. So we hammered a sample off of here and what do you know you have more mineral. So I think what we'll do since these are in such close vicinity, I'll probably send this sample in as one whole sample because it technically is the same exposure. All right, so you got a little bit more here. You can see you have some sulfides right there, right on the corner exposed. And you have our next sample right here, also a chip sample. So decent amount of pyrite. This will be sent in with that uh, other two. So now we're just going to poke around, see if we can find any more samples on the ground. Alright, so last sample is a grab sample, which we hammered open. So you can see fine-grained pyrite there, and fine-grained pyrite with a little bit of calcopyrite. So that'll be uh, our fourth sample we get, and uh, we'll send them all in at once. We'll post the assay results next.